So you may have noticed that there are new phones all over the COE. Gone are the old, archaic phones that you might see in old seasons of The Office. Ring, ring. Hello? In are these new, sleek, and modern phones. We left some documentation to teach you how to use them, but even if you follow that, and even if you figure out how to use the phone, there still might be these really awesome little tips and tricks that you missed. And so we're gonna cover those so that you can get more out of your phone. So let's go into the office and get started on some tips and tricks. All right, let's get started. So for tip number one, we're gonna go over how to add favorites to your front page of your phone. So the favorites are basically a quick contacts list. And if you see here on my phone, I have this button set up to call the boss. If I press this, it starts calling Jason. Let's end that before he picks up. And so I'm gonna show you how to do that for yourself. You can add a uh, contact to either of these two buttons right here. So let's add Sergio to this one in this example. If I hold this down, all right, it's gonna have me add his name and his number so I can type it in using this guy down here and I'll speed through it really quickly. All right, so I have Sergio's name typed in and then I can use this control pad here to go to the next field and I'll type in his number, which is 5895 and then apply. Oops, there we go. All right, and then exit. And then we have Sergio added right here. Let's go ahead and test him out. Press the button, start calling Sergio. And I uh, can't really see it, but over there, it's definitely calling his phone. So it worked. All right, let's go ahead and end that call. All right, and then to remove one of these names, uh, you just hold down the button again. And then you press this button to go to more options and delete. Yes. All right, and there, it's gone. All right, so for tip number two, we're gonna go over how to personalize your phone's settings. This will be the wallpaper, the brightness, the font size, and the ringtone. So to get to your settings, you click on this gear-shaped icon right here. All right, it opens up the application menu, and we want option number two, which is uh, settings. Let's see if I can get it in focus. There we go. Um, so we wanna go to settings, and then in here, that's where you can see the wallpaper, ringtone, brightness, and font size. Uh, once you go in there, it's mostly self-explanatory how it works, but if you need help, you know, feel free to let us know. All right, so for tip number three is something that's pretty new. We have the ability to connect to Bluetooth headsets with these new Cisco IP phones. So if you have a pair of Bluetooth headphones or like one of those earpieces that are Bluetooth, you can hook it up to these guys and you can use the microphone. The one thing you can't do is answer calls with a Bluetooth headset. At least most of them will not work. So let me show you how this works. In front of me, I have my Sony True Wireless earphones. If you have a pair of of, uh, Apple AirPods, it'll work pretty much the same way. So I'm gonna set these into pairing mode and pairing mode is activated different ways on different headsets. Uh, for these ones in particular, I just gotta press the buttons on both of the earpieces to enter pairing mode. So I'm gonna do that really quick. All right, and then on the phone, I'm going to open the settings menu again, and I'm gonna go over to Bluetooth. I'm gonna make sure that Bluetooth is on, and then I'm going to go to add a Bluetooth device. Make sure device is discoverable, okay. All right, and there it is. Those are my Sony earphones right there. So then I'm gonna hit pair. And there we go, it's uh, set up. All right, so tip number four is also going to include Bluetooth, and that is the ability to pair your mobile phone to your Cisco IP phone using Bluetooth, meaning that you can answer and receive calls uh, from your cell phone with your handset here. Um, and this could be very useful for unifying all of your calls coming in to just a single device uh, if you also use your cell phone for work. So I'll show you how to do that really quick. So on the front page uh, here, you can see that it says pair mobile phone not connected. So if you press that, it's gonna open up the Bluetooth menu again. And then we're gonna press number three so that we can add a Bluetooth device. Now on my phone, I have my Bluetooth settings open. And right now I'm going to scan for a new device. You can see here that it has appeared on the Cisco phone. And then I'm going to click pair. 
All right, and then I got a notification on my phone. Let's see if I can get that to autofocus. So yeah, it's got a pairing request. So I'm gonna hit pair and all right, there it is. It's right there, it's pairing. And then uh, say yes when this uh, little pop-up shows up. Uh, Bluetooth connect, yes. And then it's gonna ask if you wanna allow access to contacts. Uh, I haven't tested this with an Apple phone. It should work as well, but this is what it looks like on Android. Allow, and then there we go. So it says that it is paired. And so just to give you an example as to uh, how it works, if somebody were to call me on my phone, say Sergio, we'll do a test really quick. All right, and so we see that the call appears on my cell phone and on my Cisco IP phone. And this is coming in on my cell phone, not on the, the desk phone here. So that's pretty cool. And I'm gonna choose to decline. So yeah, that's how it works. All right, I apologize for the microphone quality for this part. Uh, I have to use a different microphone and a mask since I'm walking around the office for this part. Um, but for our final tip, we're going to talk about using a headset, a wireless headset with your, uh, with your new Cisco phones. And we're mostly talking about the headsets that you're probably used to using around uh, the office. They're usually Poly or Plantronics. Um, and we're gonna show you how they can work with your Cisco phones. They can still work, but not all of the models will work and they do need a special type of cable. With these new phones, we don't need to use the little handle uh, lifter thing that used to be on here that would lift up the handset every time you use the wireless part. Um, instead, it's got this smart cable that'll plug into the back of the headset. So let me show you what you need in order to make sure that your headset is compatible. So check the back of the dock of your headset. So you'll see here, there's uh, this thing that looks like, uh, like kind of like a phone jack and then like a headphone jack right next to it. So if you see these two things right next to each other, then it's going to be compatible with the new cable, the new smart cable. This is what it looks like. So if I plug this in here, and then uh, I'll plug in the power to give you a demonstration. All right, so now it's connected. So just to show you that this works, we're gonna pick up this headset and this button is what allows you to uh, pick up the phone. If I press the button, you can see that it basically acts as picking up and putting down the phone. So th these headsets can work, but if you have an older model, it probably won't work. Uh, but if you have a new enough model that has that cable that I showed you or that plug on the back, then it can work. You just have to buy the special cable for it and uh, it's possible to get it to work. So yeah, that's it for the, the final tip. If you need help buying the cable or a new headset, uh, let us know. Um, it's probably best to order a new one anyway since a lot of the headsets that are around the office are 10 plus years old. They're not compatible and it's about time to upgrade anyways. So let us know and we'll help you uh, choose which model to buy. There's a couple that we can get our hands on. Um, but um, yeah, just, just let us know and we'll, we'll help you out.